2020s of the Fuse Hub's 2023 commercialization competition. My name is Patty Reschberger. I am the Jeff Lawrence Innovation Fund Manager. With me to make the announcement is Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, I'm Eric Fasser, Solutions Program Manager. I would like to congratulate all of the applicant teams. It takes a lot of effort to get to this point. We would like to celebrate you and recognize the effort you've put forward this far. Thank you for sharing with us your ideas and giving us the opportunity to support you. Now for the 12 finalists. All right, we start off with Epic Airway Systems. Uh, they've created a product solution that's essentially Swiss Army knife of airway management devices. Uh, combines two of the most commonly used devices, the endotracheal tube and the laryngeal mask into a single product. Uh, which will result in seamless transitions between various product features benefits of each design without the need for a reintubation should the patient uh, have changing medical needs. Uh, so this is basically a safer, easier, and will avoid potential need for additional procedures. It's better for the patient and yep. it's better for the caretaker, the healthcare provider. Exactly. Yeah, it's a fantastic uh, product. Next on our list is Caprium. Caprium is using copper-based inks to print electric circuits on flexible materials. This is as opposed to the usual, the traditional way of building electric circuits on hard surfaces. So some examples of applications of this technology are wearable devices, mm -hmm. uh, medical sensors, and flexible displays. And Coprium is also a 2022 Manufacturing Grants awardee. Their project is still ongoing, so this is a separate project. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is Solo. Uh, their product caters to the needs of aging and disabled adults. Uh, they've developed a long-handled electric toenail trimmer that provides users with safety, convenience, and independence. Um, the project will have two major goals. One is to validate the design with potential buyers using a 3D printed device. Uh, and then number two is expanding their manufacturing capabilities to reduce the overall production costs. Very nice. Next on the list is RHM Innovations. Their project is an assistive shower system with a hands-free adapter for removable shower head. This will help caretakers at care facilities to bathe their patients. Not only it's safer, uh, in general and more comfortable for both the caretaker and the patient, but it also decreases the amount of water splashing during bathing, which decreases fall risk. Mm, very good. Mm. Uh, next one on our list is Opal Wearables. Uh, Opal uh, is a recent recipient of manufacturing grant, um, and they have developed a smart ring that can silently and discreetly request help from 911 or from an emergency contact. Um, this project would include the manufacturing, certification, and delivery of their first thousand units to their waitlist uh, uh, early adopters. And the rings are beautiful, which is what they were going for based on customer discovery. Exactly. Yes, exactly. very nice. The next on the list is Tio Benet. Their product, Grape, is a dietary supplement for gut health. Is made out of the waste from the grape processing into wine and juice. 20% of the grapes processed into wine and juice are wasted, and Stubenet uses that waste as raw material for their product. So it's good for your body and it's good for the environment. Mm, very nice. Uh, next one up is Revert Technologies. Um, their product is a smart surge protector specifically targeting commercial applications. Uh, so this is a, a, an advanced AI-powered surge protector um, that stop underutilized large appliances from leaching power. So think of like vending machines at an office setting or treadmills and other type equipment at a gym. Um, you know, but some of these commercial applications might have hundreds or even thousands of devices on site. And now there's a way, uh, a solution that doesn't require individual setting or switching off of each of these devices individually in order to conserve power. Next on the list is Dub Biologics. Dub Biologics is focusing on treatment tissue scarring through SIRNASE therapeutics. Their technology will replace current methods which use multiple dosage and through a single use dosage, um, they can prevent inflammation and scarring of tissue. Very good. 
Uh, next up is ExoPower. Uh, they're developing a capacitive in-motion wireless charging solution for mobile robots and vehicles. Uh, so in a warehouse setting, for example, think of, uh, you know, the biggest pain points they have is the downtime needed to charge, recharge batteries in these devices or the extra expense of having to keep spare batteries on site. So ExoPower's solution would solve this by transmi transmitting power wirelessly through metal plates in the floor uh, so things like robotic forklifts, for example, can charge constantly with no downtime and no need for extra batteries. I love this project. As, as the automated um, robots or, or whatever, or the forklifts, just move through the warehouse, yep. they just mo move over this place and charge that way, and it's permanently charging. It's very efficient. Yeah, I, I yep. want one of those at home. <laughs> as soon as I have a robot yeah. to serve me at home. <laughs> The next project is Ionic Solutions. Uh, they are working on a water desalination treatment. Their system will replace costly reverse osmosis, um, producing more usable water, less waste, and they use less energy to produce this. So this is basically the most efficient desalination technology available today. Very good. Uh, number 11, I believe, on our list is Ashlon Energy. Uh, their vanadium flow energy storage system is a unique rechargeable battery system that has many benefits over lithium ion. The technology has no risk of fire or explosion, and the units are more compact, so they can be installed indoors uh, with lower installation costs. This project would help Ashlon dramatically reduce assembly cycle time, add jobs to the region, and increase production, so more companies would be able to reduce their overall energy consumption by storing inexpensive off-peak power. And Ashlon Energy was a finalist last year. Yep. Norma Byron, the, the founder, has been hard at work. We've been in close contact. Norma, welcome back. Yep. The next and final um, finalist of this round is Castor Energy. Castor Energy developed an electrical generator that also harvests water. What's really cool about this technology is that their source of electricity and water is air. So they can be used anywhere, any time of day or night. It's, it's revolutionary. Yeah, yeah, All very right. Good. Very nice. You just heard the names of the 12 commercialization competition finalists. Congratulations to all of the selected teams. I will be in touch with you very shortly. We have a lot of work to do. To all of you, please bear with me one more minute. Imagine your product the technology you've been working hard to develop, the idea that is going to revolutionize the world, all the hands of the people you are aiming to serve. It changes the world. You feel fulfilled. It's a win-win. We would like to help you get there, and we have services to support that. In order to engage with Fuse Hub and take advantage of everything we have to offer, you must fit into two categories. Eric? You must be based in New York State, and you must be a manufacturer, which could include traditional hard goods, uh, food and ag products, um, textiles, biomed, anything like that. That's right. If this is you, we want to hear from you. Send us an email, give us a call, Come see us at the New York State Innovation Summit in Saratoga Springs in October. Find out more on how to engage with us on our website. I hope to hear from you very soon. Until then, 